Now we're going to look at the three best ripoffs atheists have done of all time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Number one. Major figures in modern science were ardent students of the Vedas. Bors and Schrodinger read arduously. Oppenheimer could read it in Sanskrit. Even Einstein and Tesla were known to have read it. It had a profound influence on modern thinking. Inside these ancient tomes are Hinduism's first stories of creation. In one Vedic text called the Rig Veda, creation was said to have begun suddenly and explosively from an infinitesimal point of pure energy. It describes this strange cosmic egg that begins as a single concentrated point and everything expanded from this single concentrated point to form the universe. Now, if you look at this from a modern perspective, this actually reflects modern science's Big Bang Theory. Copycat, copycat. Number two. Why, why are we all African? You don't have to go back very far, only about 100,000 years, and all our ancestors lived in Africa, were African, and walked out of Africa not that long ago. So we are African, actually we're African apes. We're all African apes. There is a story of the origin of man in the Sumerian texts of a prime ape, Chewbacca, Bigfoot, Savage, Hairy Wild Man lookalike, who is responsible for creating the human race. And his name is Enkidu. Copycat, copycat. Number three. 15 to 35 kilometers above Earth's surface, a gas called ozone surrounds the planet. The ozone layer acts as a barrier between Earth and ultraviolet radiation from the sun. The stratosphere contains the ozone layer. The ozone layer is made up of a highly reactive molecule called ozone, which contains three oxygen atoms. Ancient cosmology across the board believed that the sky was this dome over the earth. They say it was a crystallized firmament, solid water, ice. As we all know ice is H2O, hydrogen and oxygen. If you remember what they said about the ozone layer, it has oxygen molecules or atoms. Copycat, copycat. In the ancient world, they spoke of the great flood, Noah's flood, according to the Hebrews. But modern scientists call it the Ice Age. Also, with Pangaea, the separation of the land masses, if you go to the book of Genesis, it's called in the days of Peleg. So you can see they take all the ancient stories and they repackage them, repackaged and resold to modern societies. Another great example is global warming, which pertains to crazy weather patterns. In the Bible, it's called prophecy, but it's been sold as global warming, when in fact it's stuff that Jesus predicted over 2,000 years ago.